Welcome back here to Punta Cana, all you can see. Welcome back to Dominican Republic and welcome in 2023. I uh, really hope that you can hear me. I do have a dead cat on my microphone. I'm not sure. I tried this already once and the sound with the wind was still awful. It is what it is. I wanted to uh, do a kind of recap today. All oh, the sun is coming up. I need to show this to you. got loose oh my god I wanted to take the opportunity to thank everybody for watching commenting writing to me some of you I have met in person which I think is really great even thought sometimes it's a little bit awkward in a supermarket uh, because I'm here filming this videos by myself and then someone comes and says hey you are Punta Cana all you can see <laughs> and to be honest I'm really happy I'm happy that you're watching it I'm happy that um, People are interested and a lot of people are coming to Punta Cana and have a chance to see what they can do here. So check out the playlist, subscribe to the channel if you're coming here to Punta Cana or you know someone who's coming to Punta Cana. And we are going to start the video now with a little recap of videos of places we have already been so that you can have an idea what to find here in the channel. But also check out the playlist. I'm not recapping everything because this channel is up already for a while. So hopefully, hopefully you hear everything good because I really think this location is stunning for a video and I don't want to do it again in my living room. So now let's get going. It's a long travel from Punta Cana to come to Bahia de las Aguilas shortly before Pedanales which is very close to the Haitian border. We travel through Santo Domingo, Bani, Barahona so it's a good eight hours by car. We broke it up so we didn't have to drive too much on one day and we visited other cool places on the way but this year is really when you have the time it's worth the travel. It's within the 10 most beautiful beaches of the world and here you can see why? We stayed at the tent just at Cueva de la Bahia de las Aguilas. They have glamping now and it's worth it. For those who land in Punta Cana and want to go traveling, for those that do not want to stay in an all-inclusive, they can have a look here at the guest house de las Piedras that's in the heart of Barbado. You have a lot of things in walking distance and yet still you feel like staying in the jungle. They have two rooms to rent. If you like, you can include uh, breakfast, sometimes even dinner. This is all up to you. It's very individual. It's run by a Dominican German family. So check out their website and see if this could be something for you. Only 45 minutes driving from Barbara Punta Cana is Las Lisas, a little Dominican village. And there is the Rancho Terra Nova. From there, when you go into the mountains, you can find this little waterfall here. It's Cascada de los Mosquitos, the waterfall of the mosquitoes. And I believe that's not the official name, but it fits. When I was there, uh, we had a lot of mosquitoes. The hike is beautiful. You're crossing this little river here a couple of times. I brought the dogs and we enjoyed it a lot. Just walking there and being in the nature, you can take a bus there at the waterfall. It's really small, it looked bigger actually on uh, Google when I found it first, but it's still beautiful. Take a dip in the water, bring a towel and enjoy your day. And this is Bani, the dunes of Bani. We have a desert here and also we have dunes. When we went to Bahia de las Aguilas, this is uh, where we broke our trip apart. We spent the night here in Bani or better in Salinas, which is close to Bani and very close to the dunes. You can walk up there 
you can rent these little sand surfboards if you know how to use them still fun if you don't know how to use them you're close to the ocean you can visit the salinas so for everybody that's on the way to Bahia de las Aguilas I would really recommend to include the dunes of Bani to your trip I think we paid like 200 200 pesos for the board we've seen a lot of iguanas here in the dunes but also already on the way coming here in Las Salinas they have a couple of small hotels where you can stay directly at the ocean it's beautiful the food park here in Bavado close to Los Corrales has seen better times I think some of the restaurants are closed and it looks a little bit sad right now Here at the Cascada Janigua, when you drive to Sabana de la Mar and then you take a turn up to El Valle, from El Valle, like 20 minutes off road, and you come to Rancho Janigua that's run by Simon, you can stay overnight in a tent or just enjoy the waterfall. Helicopter flights with Helidosa. This is a very touristy excursion, but I enjoyed every minute of it. Here flying over the Lopezan, you can fly 50 minutes, 30 minutes. You can also book a flight to Saona Island. It's easy to book you. Um, I put the link to the website down below in the description, but also each and every rep here will make a reservation for you at Helidosa. If you want to see Bavaro from above, take a helicopter ride. This is one of the most magical, beautiful places that we have here, Ojos Indigenas. That's a little jungle park at the Parque Ecológico Punta Cana. From the group Punta Cana, they take care of it. And it's a group of cenotes where you can walk through the little jungle pass and jump in. Some of them you can jump in, some of them you can't. It's $50 entry fee, which I find a little bit high. I'm always debating with myself if I do it again or not. And then once I'm there, I love it. Check it out. I put as well here the website down below. If you want to go there, you can take a taxi or rent a car. There is no excursion going. And if you go early in the morning, you're mostly by yourself. I recommend to go when the sun is shining because then you have the thousand shades of blue and green. Together with Carla from Latina Tours, I visited Iberostar, Bavaro and the Coral Level just after they were opened again after the pandemic. This, this is guy. the kids pool. I would just buy a day pass just to play here one day. But I fear they wouldn't let me. Probably they have a maximum age and I'm a little bit over it. But it's gorgeous. Look at this. Aww. Wow. Woo. Who wouldn't want to play here? Look at this. Over there, the ocean. Here's another pool. At the end of December until the end of March, beginning of April, we have the humpback whales here in the Bay of Samana. I took a tour last year and we did see a lot of whales, some uh, close like this one, but mostly from further away. If you want to do this, you can book the whale watching tour here directly from Bavaro or as well when you're in Samana, you can do it from there. I went with Udo from Schaumamal Tours and we had a catamaran, which was very nice because you can see the ocean is quite rough. It's even rough in the bay in the winter time, but we had a smooth ride and whale watching is one of my favorites. From the rough ocean to Macau Beach in the summer, we went surfing with Macau Surf Camp here. This is the summer, there are not too many waves. So for beginners like us, it was perfect. We went uh, with 
Macau Surf Camp just down the road from the marina, but there are two surf schools at the beach. So you can check out the websites. I will put you the links below. Both of the surf schools pick up at your hotel at an extra cost. I think we pay just for the course like $80 per person. We just came by car, went down there, said we want to go surfing. And that's what we did. So we did a little ceremony. They showed us what to do and how to jump on the board. And then they took us here to the ocean where there are not too many waves each client had one trainer one guide so they told you which waves are good to surf and they even gave you a little push so that you well could slide a little bit faster shortly after the pandemic was over or one of the first hotels that opened was uh, the palladium the palladium trs and i think the palace opened and I went again with Carla from Latina Tours to have a look. Basically, have a look how it works with all the new measurements they had to do with all the new rules. But as well, it's a good look at the rooms that they have. This year is one at the TRS. It has a view to the pool, but as well, very beautiful. You will see in a minute, in a second. When we look around the corner, you can almost see the ocean. TRS Palladium Punta Cana, adults only. Check out the full video in the playlist. And again, a little bit more individual, Hotel La Loma in Miches. It's approximately one hour driving on a quite good road from Bávaro Punta Cana and you come to this place. On the little hill sits the Swiss run hotel with a couple of rooms that you can rent as well a pool so you can come and stay overnight or as well you can also come and just visit the restaurant what a lot of residents do here because you only drive an hour to Meaches for a day out it's nice but as well if you want to go on traveling for example Sabana de la Mar is not too far away you just follow this road that you see here Meaches has nice beaches there is Playa Arriba in Playa Esmeralda the very famous one and you can also go over the mountains to the other side to Pedro Sanchez and travel there a little bit so there are a lot of possibilities here from the hotel La Loma food is good rooms are good you have a pool and a little Dominican village This is what I did coming from La Loma from the hotel. I spent a night in Miches and then I traveled to Pedro Sanchez and I organized a meeting with a local guide to see Cascada Blanca. This is one of the waterfalls that we have here and that's not so famous. So as well, it's not so busy. The hike up to the waterfall is approximately one hour. So one hour going there and one hour coming back. Always, almost all the time you walk along the river as it was only me and the guide we had all this beautiful jungle for ourselves and that was really a little bit special it was really nice you will find this video also in the playlist the excursion to the white waterfall Cascada Blanca here in Pedro Sanchez if you travel by yourself if you have a rented car if you want to do something different this is one of the great things you can do. Last but not least, the best dune buggy adventure here in the Dominican Republic, Extreme Buggy. If you're following my channel, you know that my partner Charlie and I run this excursions. We have the original dune buggies with the VW engine, stick shift, four speed, so we can go places. And that's the big difference between us and everybody else. So if you do not want to go by yourself, if you want to go with a guide, want to visit places where other people don't go, check out our extreme buggy tours. You need to be familiar with driving stick shift and then we take you places. That's it. Thank you for watching. I hope all of you can come to the Dominican Republic in 2023 and that we all have a beautiful, adventurous year here in the Dominican or wherever you are. I say goodbye. See you in the next video here on Punta Cana or you can see.